pain when shit was temporary Broke my heart, see my brother name on that obituary Too many motors, fake love, it been getting scary Alright, what up y'all, it's your boy Ant Back with another one This video is gonna be on How to remove a freight guard report So, to all my people that's out there on the road You know, if you ever had a freight guard report um, you know, when you when you call for low, sometimes they say I the broker says I, I can't work with you. You got a, a freight guard report. Um, long story short, what a freight guard report is, is when, you know, a broker, you know, put a bad report on you. Uh, they go to carrier 411.com. It's a couple little different websites, but mainly they go to carrier 411.com. They, they go it's strictly for brokers. Um, and they, they, they go, they go on there, they report your MC, they report you, they, they, they put their side to it. Then that's when you'll get an email, uh, you'll get a, well, whatever email you have on file with the FMCSA, you know, there will, you'll, you'll get an email and then they'll give you a chance to respond. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, right? So it'll give you a chance to respond and then they might remove it or they might not. So long story short, I had a situation where, um, I did a load with a double broker, right? I did a load with a double broker. Um, my guy, he was like rushing to get a load, like right there and then, right there and then. And what there was right there and then was a double broker load. Um, how I know it was a double broker load was because they had a low credit score. They had, uh, usually when you call, it'll sound like someone from the Philippines. God forgive me. I, I don't judge nobody, but most of the time, a lot of the time, the double brokers, you know, they're from the Philippines. So what people will do is they, uh, they'll go on uh, the website. I forgot, jobs onlinejobs.ph, right? What they'll do is they'll, because you can hire people for cheap. The U.S. dollar is like a lot of money in Philippines. And you could, you could basically hire someone for like 100, 100 to $200 a week. And, and, and they will do whatever you say. So what they'll do is they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, you know, book a load, then sell it for less. And then that's how they make their money. And then they'll, they'll and then they'll get the people from the Philippines, you know, because it's cheap versus paying someone over here in America, paying someone five, six, seven hundred a week. You can pay someone hundred twenty dollars in the Philippines. So what they'll do is, you know, they'll pay someone over there, and then they'll they'll have them do all the dirty work, basically, which which is sad. It's crazy, but you know, it's a dirt, it's a dirty game. You know, I'm just being real. So. I heard the voice, you know, I, I have gotten great double broker loads from, you know, people from the Philippines, you know, period. Like, but this one in particular was, was not a great load. Um, so the credit score, the credit score was low. Um, I, I heard the voice of someone from the Philippines. Um, not only that though, it had a, a Gmail. They didn't even have like a regular, like a regular business email. Not, not only that it, it, it was, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? It was a low paying load. Um, what else? <laughs> hold on, hold on, bear with me. They didn't factor. It. They didn't do nothing. They didn't do nothing. Period. They didn't do nothing. So um, that's when you know we did the load. Then there was no bol, right? We picked up at a storage place, right? Picked up at a storage place, and then we dropped off at someone's home, right? Um, that's when uh. It was like we picked up like two chairs. It was just two chairs. Um, so that's when uh, we delivered the load, right? There was no POD, no nothing. I had to fight for weeks, you know, like I was going through like, I was going through it with this double broker. So long story short, they reported me, right? What they did is they, uh, they were sending out emails to actual brokers, like brokers that weren't double brokers, right? And, uh, I'm gonna put the screenshot in this email, matter of fact. So what they were doing is they were basically saying weird stuff like F your mom, somewhere it's like F your family. I forgot exactly what the email said because I'm going raw and uncut with this. It was like F your mom, F this, F that, right? It's to brokers. They were sending it to brokers, right? So the brokers thought thought it was it was me because they put my MC, my company, and all that. In the uh, in the email with like rainbow letters, it was weird. Like, it was just weird. So that's when I I, I seen that I had a, a freight guard report. I popped up the email. I fought it. Then that's when I went ahead and I actually just I called I called the broker. I called the broker that that did the freight guard report. I called him. I said, Hey man, like, can we get this solved? Like, like, why do I got a, a freight guard report? Like, if we ever did bad business. 
can we come back from this? Can you give me a second chance? Whole time, I don't even know who this broker is. I'm like, who is this broker? I'm like, like, and then also, sir, why why'd you, why did you put a freight guard report on me? Like, I don't even think we ever did business before. That's when he was like, well, you were sending me emails, starting to me and this and that. Yo, when I tell you, like some of them, like, like the double broker, what they did is they sent a weird video. Like, I'm not even going to play. It was disturbing, very disturbing. It was like some weird weird but it was like really weird so they sent they were sending it to all these brokers long story short then i got it deleted i called the dude and uh i got it deleted and that was it so basically i tried to dispute it i didn't want to dispute obviously i wouldn't have won that one because in the email the video that he sent was very disturbing um so then that's when i just put my pride my pride to the side i called i'm like how you doing sir you know we get as a leader. We never did business before. Blah, 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 blah. He's t t trying to tell me, you know, like someone was emailing me and said, had, had your MC on it. They were sending me disrespectful videos, this and that. I'm like, look, sir, it might have been that double broker I just worked with. Um, they were trying not to pay me. It was a bunch of BS. And and then literally I, he, he deleted it right there. And then he went right into his carrier 401. He deleted the freight guard report and then everything was good. Um, so that's it. Like. I just got to, the, I tried to get to the point. I did ran off a little bit, but basically that is, um, th that's what a freight guard is. You know, I just told y'all what a freight guard is and basically how to get it removed is by disputing it. It automatically come to your email, whatever email you have on FMCSA, it'll automatically come to you. You'll see the freight guard report. And then the, the only other way to do it is by, uh, like letting it fall off over time. I, I don't know if it takes like a year or two to fall off or whatever to fall off over time. Or you could just put your pride to the side if you ever did business, you ever was talking crazy to a broker, you ever just did bad business, you know, just call them, tell them you apologize. Most of the time they'll, they'll, they'll give you another chance. They'll tell them, you know, that freight guard report is, is messing me up, which it will. Like if you get a freight guard report, right? Some brokers, really, like when, when you give them your MC, like, hey, how you doing? I'm calling about this load. And they ask for and, and they ask for your MC. A lot of the times they go to check if you got freight guard reports, and they won't. And they won't work with you. They won't work with you. But uh, that's about it, y'all. Hope y'all appreciated this video. I'm about to get up out of here. I put y'all on that freight guard game. And all right, y'all, show some love. If you believe in yourself, you can achieve anything. And God bless. Also. Uh, my email is still the same. If you're trying to contact me, boxtrackant at gmail.com. Instagram still the same, boxtrackant. Appreciate all the love. I know I haven't been dropping long videos. Give me some ideas of what you want me to drop, and I'm going to drop the video on it. Appreciate y'all. God bless.